Second referee, Mr. Patrick Alan Castillo, national referee. Let's call on our starting lineup from our Signal HD Spikers. Let's begin with our team captain. She wears jersey number seven, Frances Senia Molina. At number two, Rosalyn Doria. Wearing jersey number five, Vanessa Gambler. At number 10, Tony Rose Basas. Number 18, Marevic Velani Meneses. And at number 22, Maria Angelica Cayuna. Starting libero is number 16, Dawn Nicole Katindi. Head coach, Mr. Cesael Shaq De Los Santos. Calling on our Akari Chargers. Team captain wear jersey number six, Michelle Monique Call. At number five, Gretchen Sotones. Wear jersey number 10, Princess Ezra Madrigal. At number 14, Fifi Sharma. Number 16, Aliona Denise Manabat. And at number 17, Faith Janine Nisperos. Starting libero is number one, Sheila Marie Pineda. Head coach, Mr. Rafi Masuela. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Abusements Board. Match number six, preliminary round, season seven, the All-Filipino Conference. All right, so we have on your screens the H Signal HD Spiger starters. So far, we got Gandler, Basas, Doria, Cayuna, Molina, Meneses, and their latest addition to their lineup, Don Makandili Katindig. And then on for the Akari Chargers, we have your starters. Sultanis with number five, Cobb number six, 10, Madrigal, 14, Sharma, 16, Manabat, 17, Nesperos, and your vet libero, Bank Veneta. All right, so biggest change so far for the Chargers is the Lady Beast herself already on the hard court. In while, pink. Oh, in <laughs> pink with Michelle Cobb. Getting uh, the first point from that service ace. I mean, that's a great serve from Michelle Cobb, starting off on a high note. And we see a trend here also in the past year, Z, where they actually do target Danny Gandler for service received. That's right. And I remember having a, a sit-down interview with Vanny Gander. She was saying, you know what? That has been the vein of my <laughs> career in volleyball that I have to improve definitely on passing. But we've seen so much improvement yeah, from Vanny Gander. Kumiro ko yung sa year nga daw sa PBL, nakuha na yun last year. I mean, the contract but let's see that replay here. Manabat, I mean, blocked by rejected. Doria, rejected at the net. Now it's important that both teams have good coverage as well. We have good middles up in front. We have Fifi Sharma. We have Roslyn Doria, who's also one of the best blockers in the PVL. Perfect dig there by Kayuna. Back set. Gander was dug up by Cobb there. Nesperos rejected. Yep. And the ball lands in a point for the HD Spikers. We see some great net defense on the side of the Signal HD Spikers starting on a high note. I mean, you have a lot of vets on the side of Signal HD. I mean, compared to Vanny Gandler, of course. And also, I'm very curious as to see like the chemistry now with the, yes, the insertion of yes. all the new players. Exactly. And even if Don is in the back row, that's a huge change, right? The barrel, you have to adjust with a lot of things. Definitely, but uh, she definitely helps with the morale of the team. Right, I remember right. when I played beside her for the F2 logistics team. Talagang may inspire ka. Like, wow. I would want to work so much harder right, right. because of her presence inside the court. <laughs> what a rally here. Long rally. <laughs> This was expected. We knew this was going to happen. This is oh, yes. their first match here in the PBL. Everyone's sacrificing their ball. 
bodies trying to get yes. that ball. I mean, great coverage also on the side of a card. Bank Panetta. Definitely. Just a little miscommunication right. on the floor there. But so far, the AG Spikers having a little bit more control here. Right. In set number one. Vani with a dig. MVP Molina asks for a check ball. First referee says no, awards the point to the Chargers. That was a clean attack going outside. Lack of wrist action in that rally. We got Faith Nesperos, one of the key holdovers of the Akari yes. Chargers here, getting up to serve. And I remember being teammates with mm, Faith back mm -hmm, in season mm -hmm. 82. She's been trying to get that serve for the past years and she's finally mastered it and has gained that confidence in the PBL. Definitely, but look at this textbook play from Perfection. the HD Spikers, courtesy of Chin Basas on the left side this time. I mean, Basas, she's not the tallest of attackers, but she has that leap, she has that elevation, and she has those simple vet moves that are very effective. That's right, and uh, so far today, she is starting over Jov uh, Gonzalez. Right, interesting. Jov Gonzaga, sorry. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Na-mix ko na sila together. Okay, let's th turn it over to Sam, hashtag SamCore, for a special report. Don Makindili Katindig told me that she had to overcome the fear of the unknown as she made her move to the Signal HD Spikers. Now, Coach Shaq did give some piece of solid advice for Miss Everywhere, and that is, lahat ng bayani patay na. That means, hindi na daw niya kailangan maging buwis buhay palagi pag sa loob ng court. Instead, Don told me today that she has to show more self-love and be more conscious of her health for the betterment of the team. Catch the PBL action on the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipino everywhere in the world. Back to you, Jamie and Z. Thank you, Sam, for that report. Eh, yun nga, everybody's saying, you know, at the pros, the challenge is the longevity. Right. The, right. How sustainable you are as an athlete. Yep. And how sustainable or, you know, long-term also the planning that your coaches have for the team. That's right. And also, I mean, as you get older, you want to also take care of your body. Yes. Nutrition is very yes. important as you get older. Yes. Your body is not the same like it was back in college. Definitely, definitely. And to, for them to, you know, put their bodies into like having three conferences wow. a year, trainings every day right. for yep. at least three hours. So, you know, you can only imagine how much hard work and effort that these athletes put in. That's right. Look at that. Ooh, Locking formation, block. right, on Sotones. Lady Beast. I'm not saying hello to everybody. You know, I'm not used to seeing See her, her in pink. pink. <laughs> pink and white. <laughs> well, you gotta not get used, used to, to it, it now, Jamie, because <laughs> here it comes Gretchen Saltones. Free ball. Malabat was there. Cobb pushes it to Gretchen. Smart and strong tip for Gretchen Saltones here, tying up the match or putting a lead to the Chargers here. And, you know, that's a great um, decision from Gretchen Saltones. It's not always about the strongest of attacks, yes. but the placement. And you just saw the little miscue between Don and Cez. That is. But that will happen because yes. they are not used to playing next to each other. So those are the fine tweaking that needs to be fixed. And that will be some of the things that we see. But look at that wow. recovery that by cover. Michelle Cobb. Amazing. Kayuna goes for back row. MVP Molina was there. Cobb nice back set. row also to Manapat. But Katin Dig was there. Gandler this time. Oh. Cross court. It's the rally. Everybody cheering here live. Jamie. Danny Gandler with that sharp cross court attack. I mean, no defense was found whatsoever on the side of Akari. Actually, avoiding the hands as well of Fifi Sharma. Yes, yes, of course. Vanny Gandler coming from an out of system play there, converting it to a point. Definitely crowd cheering for that. Wow. <laughs> and a block point for the HD Spikers this time. Smooth sailing with the blocking on the side of Signal. I mean, Akari having a difficult time with the coverage, but that also goes to show that Signal is reading the offense of Akari easily. Definitely. Well, it, got, it has to start from the first ball, yes. Jamie. The first ball is crucial. 
Kayuna, back row once again. Molina gets a check. Cobb, who will she choose most for Manabat this time? Again, Molina's there for the dig. A little jazz at the nets. <laughs> but Sharma is a force to reckon with at the net this time. Fifi Sharma being aggressive at the net. You saw Jel Kayuna a little out of system there. <laughs> Point goes to Akari. Everybody wanted to get that just over to the Akari side. Seven all, a tight first set. Definitely what we called earlier in the pregame. It was going to be a hard hitting matchup here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But Jinx did a little bit of yeah. miscommunication again. Something that we will definitely see here so far right. as we have new additions to the, these team but so far that's the first technical timeout we will be back now all right getting back to the ball game here at the big dome we got the pvl 2024 all filipino conference you got a vanny gandler to serve, Ooh, it's serve. serve. yeah misperceived out of system set there manabat was there riri asks for it but gets it to vanny gandler manabat will try again Ooh. goes cross for it this time gets the point Manaba targeting Chinchin, Chinchin Basas with that back row attack. Gotta give credit to Sultonis with that beautiful yes. dig from Danny Gantler. And you know, it's so good to see that Michelle Cobb is trying to activate all yes. the hitters. Yes. Back row, front row, you got Manaba, Sultonis, and Faith. She knows she can't be too predictable. Yes, for sure. Riri, no oh, wow. blockers there, gets the point. That's a beautiful set by Kayuna. Ria Menez, as we all know, that's her specialty, that running attack. F completely fooling the blocking of Akari. So far, it's just a one-point exchange here. At set number one, you got nine a serving eight. Riri Menez on the service line. Good pass there for uh, Sultones, Manaba at back row once again. Good coverage from uh, Madrigal. Dindin pushes it over. Gel runs. Molina, good block touch there. Set up for Cobb. Nisperos, check ball. Ball still alive. Ria had that first touch though. The middle blocker playing defense in the back row, but that's a great swing. I mean, beautiful set also by Michelle yes. Cobb. Better defense also on the side yeah. of Chargers, but look at Riri Menezes. It was so interesting to see how middle blockers <laughs> have been playing the sweep position. What can you say about that, Jamie? I mean, I have to give credit, kudos to them. Riri Menezes, <laughs> a rare dive by Riri Menezes. I mean, shows the effort there, just in that play. Ooh. Vanny. Good eye there from Vanny Gandler. And I mean, the set of Kayuna also, Z, is a little bit lower, meaning yes. the offense will be much faster. And look at the contact of uh, Vanny Gandler. Right. He's already almost inside the 10-foot right. line, which is definitely going to give her the edge to uh, be over yes. and above the ball. Yes. 
I mean, the Akari Chargers were anticipating the powerful attack of zone one and five, but then again, they're switching it off. I mean, that's when you know you have the confidence, when oh, you yes. can make moves oh, like yes. that. Definitely. And to think that it's been, it's only the first game, the first set of right. uh, the conference, and to see them moving like this, really oozing with confidence. Ooh. Smart, smart. Vanny has still been the target here for the Charger service. Magadigao being aggressive at the net, and it's all about timing with those yes. jumps as well. And Kayuna cannot jump at the net because she's currently back row. And Madrigal having that edge, being uh, the taller yep. one uh, right. for that joust. Ms. Peros with her jump serve. Molina with a good pass. Gloria, ooh, caught with that defense. Bam, with a defense as well. So Tones cross court ooh, for Kevin Tindig was there. Molina on the right side. Finds Ms. Peros and gets a point, says Molina. And you actually saw her change her body mid-air going for that down the line and it wasn't even powerful i said this earlier it's about placement as well yes. you know those are the vet moves that we love to see definitely i mean in volleyball it's not just about the power but right. also it's about finding those sweet spots yep. usually at the corner and ses molina i mean she's an mvp for a reason yep. but going back here gambler this time tooling her blockers getting the point you know and you would assume Vanny Gander would avoid the hands of that tower block with Madrigal and Manabat, but I mean, she's using her smarts and targeting her outer hand of Akari. Definitely, she had a lot more space on that left side, yep. so very smart for her to target the right hand of uh, Manabat. Madrigal with that power tip using her blockers this time. Let's see that replay, touching the hands of Doria. Smart play, Jel Kayuna a little bit late to react with that defense. 12 all, unlimited deadlocks here, yeah, Jamie. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> I think it's really gonna be up to who's gonna make those crucial errors at the end. Yeah. But look at wow. that defense, wow! Bodies on the floor here for the Chargers, <laughs> but Doria ending that a super rally here. I mean, Kayuna going for that back quick attack on Doria. And Doria has been silent, I would say, the start of this match. But you have to activate your middles throughout the entire game. And Doria, I mean, we all know how great her back quick attack is. Yes. Usually the underrated middle blocker, but always yes. the silent Definitely operator underrated. for her teams. Ooh, Ooh. Manabat. Over and above. Gandler and uh, Meneses right there. Let's see that one more time. That's a smart play by Cobb. I, I mean, when you want to get that side out right away, you got to go to your vets. Yes. And it's also, you know, the setter knowing who's hot. Is that correct? Yeah, the Jamie? hot hands. Who has the hot hands? I mean, you should know your tendencies, your patterns mm. of your team, your per their personality also by now if you feel like they're having a good game or yeah, maybe an yeah, off yeah. game. And also it depends on, you know, if you would want to give confidence to your spikers yeah. as well. Right, Is right. that right? I mean, there are times when, for example, you're an open spiker and you make a mistake, you have to really strategize, should I give the ball to them again? again? <laughs> or you, should you let them cool off, right? Okay. You have to know so your... timing yep. also involved. Well, you gotta know their emotions, I would say. That's it. Running at the top, Riri Meneses getting that point there. It's really just, you know, the exchange of leads here as yes. well. You never know. I mean, guys, hold on to your seats. This is definitely going to be a long afternoon, yep. and evening <laughs> for us here. <laughs> Riri Meneses again with her classic running attack. Basas, ooh, straight to the net. Free point for the Akari Chargers. I mean, these are the small, unforced errors that need to be minimized when you're trying to gain that momentum from your for your team. You're uh -huh. actually disrupting your rhythm sometimes with those missed serves. Yes, definitely. Soltones, more reliable server here in the league. 
Back row, Molina opts to push it. Beneda chooses the Speros, a little too tight. Bumps yeah. out a little bit too tight there. Frustration there on uh, Rafi Buswell on the sidelines as well. The Speros still finding her groove there. I mean, yep. if you're an outside hitter, you will most likely get the out of system sets as well. Right. I mean, you gotta adjust to the break balls. You can't always expect a perfect, perfect set. Another chance there for Nisperos, but Katindig was there. Ooh, back quick. Oh, wow. Look at that connection between uh, Cayuna and Menezes. And Cayuna was actually not ready exactly. to set Ria Menezes, but I mean, point goes to signal. <laughs> Napapanood na rin tayo sa pinakabagong free-to-air channel na talaga namang para sa Pinoy, ang RPTV. Kaya tutok na sa Analog TV Channel 9 at 183 sa higit tatlong daang cable at satellite providers nationwide at syempre sa Signal Play. Back to the ball game, you got Riri Meneses and Jelka Yuna. We were saying how good is their connection, Jamie? I mean, they have had that connection for the past years and they've mastered it. They've had a lot of trial and error, obviously, but now you can see that their experience is really coming in. Soyud on that right side gets the point. No, that's the good side of having that double substitution with Maraginot and Soyud. Bankoneta with that beautiful bump set going down the line. Again, the deep bench has been uh, utilized here on the side of the Chargers. Yeah. He got Sharma on the serve. Still the target, Gander over there, but Molina Ooh. makes good of that out of system set. And normally, if you're a good open spiker, you will actually target the middle blocker that just served, and that's what she ah, did in Fifi right, Sharma, right? right. The, the skill set of a middle blocker, it's not defense. Usually it's normally blocking or attacking, but I mean, but those are the tiny vet moves that make a difference. Mm -hmm. Nisperos, Riri once again with the defense. Molina goes cross court, rejected this time. Molina will try again, goes for a lob. Peneda runs down, Madrigal pushes it over. Free ball, Cayuna chooses Doria, oh. but Sultanes was there for that dig. Soyun, power oh. hit and catches the line. Going for zone five, Ellie Soyud, one of the vets here of the Akari Chargers. I mean, she did that the same, she went for the same location as the previous sequence. I mean, there is a hole in that uh, defense of the signal. I mean, if you usually revisit the defense pattern, there will always be that vacant like spot, spot right? yeah. on the corner. So for her to have that uh, sharp target and being finesse about it, Doria once again this time a tip. Madriga sets Nisperos, goes down the line. Basas was there. Molina, a curry. Doria for the jaws, but Caught was there. 
and uh, gets the point for uh, her team. I believe that's an overreach on the side of the Signal HD Spikers. Point goes to Akari. Michelle Cobb up to serve. Basas pushes it. Bang Pineda was there. Manabat on the right side. Basas with the dig. Pushes it to Molina. Katindig was there for the coverage. Back row this time. Gandler. Pinapos. Beautiful attempt by Vanny Gandler targeting that zone one. I mean, I did mention this earlier, Z. The set of that back row is much lower than usual. Yes. I mean, and that, those are the the seconds that change the difference of your offense. Definitely changing the tempo. And uh, definitely, you know, it's it's a go-to play. Yes. Even if you're back row. Before, you know, people would say back row would be like the last option. Right, right. But this time, it's really part of the play now. Yeah. Esperas on the right side. Katindig was there. <laughs> Katindig once again. Kayuna chooses Doria. But uh, Soltonis was there for the defense. Manabat from the left side. But Katindig. Too easy. <laughs> Too easy. Nakatayo na lang. Cog will choose Nesperos. But Vani was there keeping the ball alive. Molina with a push. Cog was there again for the defense. Pineda chooses Soltonis. Katindig was still there. Right. Pero hindi na nagawang ay control Puntos para sa Chargers. You know, and I did not know that Bank Pineda was going for a bump set to the back row. I mean, that goes to show the familiarity that they're slowly gaining yes, from each other. Yes. I actually thought she was going to go to the right pin. Right, right, right. But she went behind her. Earlier, I saw a glimpse of how, you know, nagkakapaan pa tong Akari. Like, didn't, nobody knew who was supposed to get the second yep. jungle ball. That's it. Ooh, Ooh perfect set there. Molina loving that low and fast set. Let's look at that again. Perfection. Blockers were late as well. Palinan pa rin ang puntos dito mga kaibigan. 19 all set number one pa lang. Jamie, how long will this game be? Uh, first game for both ten. teams. <laughs> wanting to get that first win, of course. I mean, we did expect this neck and neck. Yes. I mean, you want to start on a high note, you have an opportunity to get that first win for your team. And I did say this in the pregame earlier, only the top four teams will okay. make it onto the semifinals. So you All gotta right. rack up the wins now. Of course. Here you got on your screens, Trisha Genesis. So far, the service specialist, service and defense specialist, subbing in All for of the All of the above. Energizer Bunny as well. Nice <laughs> serve. Except Sutter. <laughs> yes, except Sutter. Gandler. Oh, textbook, but it says out. Puntos for the Chargers. There you go. Time out. Is this your first time out? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First time here in set number one to have a two point def difference, wow. Jamie. I mean, that just goes to show the dedication and I mean, the much improvement, I would say. You had, I think, like a month break from the last All Filipino Conference, and I'm sure that they did mention this earlier. Hours and hours of training trying oh, yes. to improve your skill, and you can just see it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Single block by oh the Lady gosh. Beast herself. I'm also in shock. <laughs> Let's look at that one more time. Return to wow. sender. Now Akari Chargers up.
by the as timing. much as three points wow. and three points away from closing the set. Let's see what Signal has to respond to. Indeed, good coverage once again. Basas will try again. A little miscue there on the floor. Rachel Soltones with that out assistant. Cayuna, Chris Doria, ball still alive. Free ball, Katindig sets it up. Cayuna goes to Basas. It's outside. Outside, try to avoid her blockers that time. Yeah. Four points. Na signal HD spikers can have a timeout. Muli, si Coach Shaq, let's listen in. Hey, Coach. Okay, Coach. Coach. there from Coach Shaq. But first, of course, director, director of uh, Volleyball Operations, Coach Taka beside uh, Tita Mosey and uh, Jas Hazarenas in, in attendance. That's right. Supporting her team. Ooh, let's serve there. Cayuna chooses back row. Molina was there but dug up by Michelle Cobb. Gretchen. Looking for a check. Nope. And uh, Rafi Mosuela, head coach, will ask for a challenge here. A block touch, nothing to lose. Yep. They're closer to wrap up this set. Let's see. This is our first challenge, right? Yep. Yes. First challenge yes. of this first set. Earlier, I was saying back to back timeouts for Coach Shaq because you wouldn't want to make this kind of uh, errors or situation, be in the situation at the right. tail end of the set. But so far, we're waiting for a block touch challenge. Gretchen Soltones, sinubukang iwasan yung blockers, but just very close though. Very close there. Good challenge, I would say. Could also be a strategy, you know, maybe to ice the server or yes, something, disrupt yes. the momentum. Correct, correct. Sometimes coaches would also use it as a pseudo timeout right, if they're right. out of timeouts. But let's see, Doria will start us in this rally. Genesis, oh, there you go, sets up Gretchen Sultanes. Easy hit there, Cayuna. Back row to Molina, but Genesis was there. Manapan! <laughs> Offensive defense from Bindin Santiago. Manapan, nobody on the side of HD Spikers to answer for that one two play, Jamie. Was that intentional <laughs> or was she off balance? I mean, a point is a point. But look at that shimmy afterwards. Do we have that? Oh, we don't have that. <laughs> she had that shimmy. We need, we need that on replay, celebration. <laughs> Manaba to serve, pero si regalo para sa HD Spikers. Maybe the adrenaline from that last sequence is too high. Na excited masyado. Maybe too much shimmy. Too much shimmy. A little too much shimmy on that one. Time out para sa Akari Chargers. Maybe again to ice the server. Let's listen in. One of the things that I was so interested to witness and see are the timeouts to see, you know, how the right. new coaches are faring, also how the players are responding. So it was good to see, you know, everybody was just waiting for instructions from Coach Rafi. And I like how Coach Rafi's timeout was very specific. Yes. And he told Cobb, okay, you run this play, you run that play. Mm -hmm. And that's what mm -hmm. players need, especially during this Ooh. crunch time. There you go. Oh. The play yeah, that, that they just called during the timeout. 
well executed. And that's it, folks. We just wrapped up set number one with Akari winning 25 to 21 over Signal HD Spikers. I mean, Virtual Sultan is there with that power tip earlier. So yep, she has been the go to player here. So, definitely a good addition yeah. to the team chargers here. Front row, back row, Vecha Sotones has been there too. Set, but Signal also tried to end that four to zero run yes, by yes. the Akari Chargers, but it was smooth sailing on the side of Akari. I see more urgency compared to last year. I see that there's more chemistry with yeah. Michelle mm -hmm. Pong and her open spikers, mm -hmm. and also Ellie Soyu. The double substitution was very crucial. She constantly targeted Zone Five, and there was a hole in that defense. But on the side of Signal, it's not that they were doing anything wrong, it's yeah, just Akari yeah. was able to get their breaks and that because of that they were able to get the momentum and I mean it's very close, it's an yes. even match I would say. Yes, I mean going back to set number one, Coach Shaq called the, his first ever timeout um, when the score was 21-19 and that was the first time that there was a two point difference yeah. in set number one and uh, you're right, I mean it was just a smooth sailing, they were coasting in a sense coasting. And, you know, it was Akari definitely bringing in right. the heat in set number one. You see the set one stats on your screen. I mean, see, take a look. The attacks is the same with 14 on both sides. But take a look at the errors. You're right. Eight compared to three. If Signal can minimize these unforced errors, because the attacks are the same. Yes. 14 yes. for both. Then maybe they have a chance of getting the second set. I mean, block points also, lamang ang HD spikers. And, you know, that's defense at the net and defense on the floor. Don Makagili Katindig has been number one, tip top Super. shape. But on your screens just a while ago is Jov Gonzaga, who's starting this set. You were telling me, Jamie, that maybe you feel that she needs to be inside the court for that extra oomph? Yeah, she needs to be there because they need that vet player, not, not necessarily to score. Right, it's to also be that vocal leader, and when she's they're kind of like when Rachel and Dakis was yes. on the court, they need oh, that ma. Ate yes, to uplift yes. the morale of the team. There you go, Ate with that first pass, <laughs> helping that conversion right away, courtesy of Viri Meneses. Jovelin Gonzaga will be targeted as well with that service received, but Kayuna already utilizing yeah. Ria Meneses with that back quick attack. You got Gandler on your screens. 
Good pass from the Lady Beast. Running from Madrigal Catindegos there. Cayuna pushes it to Molina. Goes for cross court but rejected. Jungle ball, free ball. Mulaki Gander, Bang, Bang Teneda. This time is Peros having that opportunity but a little too sharp there on that clip. But she was trying to go for that cut shot, that sharp cross court angle. Point goes to signal. Let's go, let's go. Bani still on the line to serve. Ooh, overpass there. Opportunity oh, wow. here for Signal, and yes, they get it. Single, signal slowly getting their groove here in the second set, starting on a high note. All right, we got Sam for another report, this time for the Akari Chargers. Sam? Earlier, you were talking about the options of Michelle Cobb for the Akari Chargers. And I got to ask her about this, how the team is gelling together this conference. Now, she told me that every addition to the squad this conference is like a missing piece to the puzzle of this young team. They did have some off-season bondings to know each other more. And as a setter, just like what you mentioned, Jamie, Mitch said, it is her role to know more about the tendencies of her teammates. And that paid off in the first set. Now, their captain also told me that since the experience is deep for Gretchen Sultana, the Lady Beast is really a valuable addition to the team. Catch this and more on the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Back to you, Jamie and Z. And there you go, Jamie. We're just saying, you know, the Signal needed their Ate Jov, and this yep. time for Akari, they have their Ate Gretch. That's right. I mean, with Gretchen Sultana back in Petrogas, she was the the go to, she was the one doing the heavy lifting, but here she's still scoring, but she also still has help, so she actually yeah, has yeah, more yeah. rest, I would say. I mean, with also the ball distribution that Michelle Cobb is doing, yeah. you know, the sets are more or less evenly distributed among the hitters, but uh, a replay here of uh, Cesc Molina point. They're up four to two. You got Riri Meneses on your screens, setting us up for this rally. Ooh, little too wide there. Good eyes on Bang Pineda letting it go, but Riri Meneses asking for a challenge, which Paul Shack obliges. Let's see if Meron ngang ace at pumaso ang serve Riri. Close call, I would say. Super close, yep, yep. I mean, you never know. Usually, you know, when the ball lands a little bit heavy mm. on the court, means yung pag squish ng bola. Right. Natatamaan pa rin yung linya. But we'll see. We have the luxury of the challenge system cameras. Let's see here. Ooh. Uh, outside, it was out. yep. Good eye there <laughs> on the side Very of the carry chargers. Letting that one go. Coach Shaq has yet to see the magic that her ladies have here. Kayuna goes for Doria. Smart. Yes. Smart. I mean, Jel Kayuna utilizing her middle blockers in the first attack. You know, sometimes setters have that strategy of utilizing their middles in transition, but you, you got to be smart. You got to outdo your opponent. Gonzaga, that for serve, Cobb chooses Fifi. Uh, outside, yeah. Linesman calls it out, but first referee overrules that one, saying that it was in. Okay, no need for the challenge, because first referee said Inside. He saw it that it went in. Point awarded to the Chargers. Still early on in the second set, yep, but I yep, mean, yep. there you go. Sticking uh, to his decision there. You got Manabat on the service line. Good first ball from uh, Jov. Molina with a tip. Katendegos there, great coverage. Gander from the back row. Fifi had a touch on that one. Gretchen, far tip there, but Katendeg was able to control that one again. Gander back row. Nisperos was there for the dig. 
cut in big once again. Doria! Wow. <laughs> I did say this earlier, Z, the placement, it's not always yes. about power. Yep, yep. Even that just swipe. But, you know, these girls should really thank Don Makandili <laughs> Katindig. Did you see how much space she's been covering on the floor, Jamie? I mean, she's touched <laughs> way too many first balls I want to see the stats after the game, honestly. <laughs> she is the reason why her players can shine. Yes, exactly. Again, I mean, it's a team sport. And... Uh, Signal AG Spikers has that luxury of having a miss everywhere in their team. <laughs> Good pass from a Lady Beast there. Manaba, back row. Molina was there. Dig. Kayuna sets up Gander. Easy tip there. Back row naman para sa Chargers. And uh, Faithness Peros getting the point. That's a good decision by Michelle Cobb. Let's see that replay. See Faith Nesperis touching the hands of Jelka Yuna, but there was actually a hole in between that block of Doria and Jelka Yuna. Wait for her to get that angle. Oh, so you know, deadly. On, for sure. But good serve there from Sultones Kayuna trying to run up there. Set up Nesperis oh. for that super hit, but Gonzaga was there. Gandler. Rejected, but ball still alive. Gets up, chose to pick it up. Cobb chooses his Peros. Ball still alive. Everybody's going crazy here at the big dome. Over on two, but ball still alive. Gandler dug up there by Sultanes Manapat. Using her blockers this time and getting the point. Jamie La Vittoria. I know. Oh. <laughs> we should have these rallies, Jamie. I am speechless with that sequence, but I mean, Mama D going Mama for, D. That, for that kill. Definitely, definitely. I mean, okay, he set up the mic. Stop watching <laughs> for the longest rally so far here in the PBL All Filipino Conference. Gandler goes cross court, a little touch there of, of her blockers. His there we go. Esperos tooling the block of the Signal HD Spikers and slowly getting their groove. Beautiful setting by yes. Michelle Cobb, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was going for that reverse set. She was very far, actually, from that left pin. Esperos loving that set and point there. Deadlock here, 7 all. Set number two. Ooh. A little too strong behind that serve. Well, there's our first technical timeout. We'll be back. TV. Tutok na sa Analog TV Channel 9 at 183 sa higit tatlong dang cable at satellite providers nationwide at of course sa Signal Play. 
You guys are watching set number two of the Signal Akari matchup. And we got on your screens, Don Makandili Katindig with 11 excellent digs and four receptions. Ayun na nga, thank you to our producers indulging us with the statistics. <laughs> Kasi nga, parang lahat ng tumatawid na bola, haawa ka nitong ni Don eh. I mean, Don, without Don, you will, have, you will not be able to run your offense smoothly. You're not going to be able to get that first receive, that dig, that counter. I mean, she's the reason why Signal is doing a great job in this game. Definitely, definitely. Napapadali ang buhay yep. ng mga setter at spikers ng Signal HD, but uh, they have yet to catch up or have a dominant lead here in set number two. Jungle ball there. Cup sets up Madrigal, but oh, Makandili was able to pick it up, but nobody to answer for that second ball, Jamie. I mean, see that sacrifice of your body of Katindig and Gonzaga. I mean, very close call, at least both went for it. There was you'd effort. Mm -hmm. You'd rather have both than none, of course. Definitely. Good effort, but also great strategy by Madrigal. This time, Akari with uh, the one-point lead. Sharma to serve. Kayuna goes for a running attack with Riri Meneses. Who gets the point? That is three for three in offense for Riri Meneses with that running attack. So I think that Signal needs more of those. Yeah, yeah, a little bit yeah. more, you know, variation. Even with the out of system hits, because that's what I'm seeing with yeah. Akari that, you know, even if Michelle Cobb is running up and down the court, she still is able to activate even the three if she's hitters. Not inside. Bad. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. Mitch knows that the perfect pass will not always be there, but even if you're on the net, off the net, you just got to feed your middle all the time because yep, you're actually yep. fooling the blocking Definitely. of your opponent. So I think Signal needs more middle attacks. Not necessarily from the right pin right. of a running, like A quick, B quick. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Good first ball there from Gonzaga. Vani from the right side. Yes, gets the point. The Signal HD Spikers trying to break that momentum of Akari Vanigan. They're doing such a great job. And that was also on the right pin. That is not mm -hmm, her usual. Mm -hmm. So there's some rotations where she's actually on the right side. But point goes to Signal. 10 all here in set number two. We got a Vanny Gandler in your screens. Good serve, but better pass there from Pineda. Right side, Nisperos was there, but Kayuna with the dig. Katan Katindig setting up Molina, getting the point. Says Molina going for that down the line. See, that's this, those are the things that Sultanas and Cobb actually need to talk. You see, uh -huh. Michelle Cobb actually going forward with the defense, but Sultanas not knowing that as well. So this is where the familiarity right. comes between both of them. Gander has been uh, serving for quite a while now. Out of system there from Soltones to Nesperos, but it goes wide. Oh, yeah. For that cross court attack. Si coach uh, Rafi Masuela. Let's listen in to the Chargers. gonna say you know what the coaches so far has been a very how do you say this like generous with their timeouts two point differences automatically a timeout will be called by either team so you know what they're really yes. gunning for that win for yep. every set for every lead Good call there by Coach Rafi Masuela. No, and you would think, Z, that they would call the timeout if the gap is farther, right? Yes, but exactly. Two points now. Only two, but it's a two lead, which is 
something that you want to try and break. Make that three-point lead for the Sigma Ishi Spikers. Madrigal touching the net, giving a free point for the HD Spikers. Still serving wow. Vanny Gandler. Nice serve. Better pass there from Pineda. Sets up Manabat. But ooh, good dig there by Gander. Molina goes cross court, but Pineda was there again. Manabat on the left side. Oh. The block a little bit late from the Signal HT Spikers, Ria Menezes and Jovelin Gonzaga. Let's see that replay. Actually, oh. there's no close. Yep. Yep. Kailangan makatiket. Yep. And the way for Dindin Manabat or Mama D to squeeze that ball in between her blockers. You got Faith Nesperos to serve. Oh, perfect pass by Tim Dig. Oh, play there. Little miscue between Molina and uh, Kayuna. Mama D on the right side. Gandler was there. Kayuna pushes it back. Ooh. Set to job. Gonzaga. Hello and welcome back, Jovelin Gonzaga. Let's look at that one more time. Lefty opposite spiker. Sharp. Look at that angle. Jamie. Sharp cross court. I mean, how can you defend that? <laughs> <laughs> you just really gotta look how at can you that, that super <laughs> short space in between the blockers and beside the blockers. Ooh, good touch there. Molina with this opportunity. Boss still alive. Cobb pushes it to the open. Getschel was able to squeeze that back. Jovelin with another oh. opportunity gets it. Back for Ishi Spikers with a little high five there with Coach Shaq. Four points up. Itong uh, signal Ishi Spikers here yes. in the second set. That is what I was saying, Z. They need at the Joe for these vet moves, right? I mean, signal is at a five to one run right now. Oh, well, there you go. Well, <laughs> jungle ball. Back row para kay Faith Nesperos. Look at that one more time. Right behind Gander, her former teammate back in Ateneo. The Chargers trying to cut down the lead here. Currently at three. Cayuna chooses Doria, but a good touch there by Madrigal or Sharma. And Manabat was able to convert that to a point, cutting down the lead to three, to two, rather. There you go, the spike of this set is brought to you by Duncan. Pasalubong ng bayan. Oh, gutom tuloy ako, Jimmy. Meron ba tayo dyan? Choco butter nut lang po. A bucket, please. A bucket of munchkins. Get their back row! Rejected by the two towers. I mean. In Manabat and Sharma. Are we getting a replay? Here we go. Let's see that twin wall. I mean, uh, Mama, oh, Mama D. The reaction. Is Mama D. Yeah. But this is the oh, reaction that we have been waiting for in the PVL, Jamie. <laughs> I love when the pets get so oh, yes. up. Oh, yes. Jobs goes a little bit down the line this time. Cobb back to Miss Peros. Back row. Let Set there. Molina! Ooh. Ooh. No, no look. Right? No look hit there by Cesc Molina leading us to the second technical timeout.
tayo sa usapang volleyball. We are here back in Cubao Smart Araneta Coliseum between a game between the Signal HD Spikers. They're there on your screens who are uh, charging up the lead here to two in set number two versus our Akari Chargers there. You got uh, Fifi Sharma on your screens this time, says Molina. MVP says, <laughs> the team captain says, Manabat. Ooh. Oh, Katin dig what? with that dig. Wow. And a put away by Vanny Gandler. I mean, ito na yung sabi ko, Jamie, if your teammate gets that super dig, everybody getting these stuff here, Jamie. I mean, the dig, the set, the attack, I mean, yes. talk about teamwork. I mean, this is why you train every day. Those are the moments that you wait for. Definitely. Back row once again for Gandler. Oh! <laughs> Finds the line! Coach Chuck, ngayon, nakikita na natin kung nakangiti. <laughs> now he's smiling. I mean, Vanny, she's normally targeting that zone one, but, but look at that. Look at that. Very smart play. And precision this time that we see from this young athlete here. Jeez. Free ball here. Let's see. Cobb goes to Manabat. Good check there, Gandler, with the first ball. They go to John. Can I post na content? Right idea, right idea by Jovelin Gonzaga, but a little too short with that execution. Definitely. So we got a, this is a double sub. Yep, double sub here for the Akari Chargers once again. We got Maraginot and Soyud shooting up here in set number two. And this double sub did work yes. in the first set. Yes. Let's see if they're able to catch up here with a, from a three-point deficit. Maraginot to serve. Good pass there from Jov. Oh, what a set by Kayuna. So quick. So good. I mean, Kayuna constantly giving her middle blockers perfect sets on first attack. And there you go. Narini ka ata nila Jenny kasi Thanks, it wasn't yeah. the best or the most perfect of passes. Right. But Jel Kayuna was still able yes. to activate her middle blocker. And that's when you know you have a good setter yes, who's not choosy yes. with the digs. Yes, definitely. So you on that left side, but cutting dig. Easy money. Gandler this time asking for a check ball. First referee oh, yeah. says no. Are they going to challenge? Yes. Signal was very sure yeah. that there was a touch on I don't that know. attack. There was a little bit more loop behind that hit from uh, Gandler. But let's see. We can see the challenge cameras here. Once again, such a luxury, you know, to have this challenge system in place. Because as we have our level of volleyball getting, uh, you know, higher and higher, Siyempre, kailangan din natin na uh, i-level up ang ating yes. uh, systems and equipments here in the officiating side. Here we go. Let's see if there was indeed a block touch. Oh, Ooh. there it is. Ang good eye. Good eye. Ang galing, ang galing. You see Akari laughing. Best in acting. Akari Chargers. Best in acting. <laughs> Fifi Sharma. <laughs> Siya <po> yun, guys. <laughs> Pero ayun na nga, five-point deficit ang hahabulin ng Akari Chargers. Kaya napatawag muli ng timeout si Coach Rafi. This time, can we listen in this time? Yes. Okay, good pass lang. Ito ang pass, sasagit na. Okay, sasagitin natin yung middle para malis yung blocker. Okay. Lamang sila ng lima. Pati tayo, 1.4. Service tayo, kailangan natin dumlak. Again, like this, hindi tayo nakakuha ng black hole. Go, 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 go! Brother! Hari! This time, less specific ang instruction ni Coach Rafi. I think kailangan na niya magbigay confidence yes. para sa kanyang uh, chargers. But so far, you know, you see Gesha Soton is still smiling after that yep. timeout. And even if you're down five points, 
you don't want to show that you're feeling down because I mean it's a team effort you don't yes. it's a domino effect if you see your team your teammates sad or yeah, mad yeah. you want to uplift <laughs> always smile just smile yes, just smile Sabi nga ng coach mo dati, di ba? Happy, happy. I could see him from here. Kita-kita din natin dahil. You're speaking off on cue. Gretchen Sultanis with a point from that tip above Vanny Gandler. It's a smart play. Actually fooling Dawn in that valley. Yeah. I think unang soft tip yun ni Gretchen Sultanis. Who went for that serve? Ooh, good pass from Gonzaga. Doria was there. Maraginot pushes it to Nesperos. Powering through her blockers this time. I mean, Maraginot and Faith Nesperos, they've had that connection since college. So, I mean, it works. It works. Ngayon naman, baka timeout si Coach Shaq ng Signal HD Spikers. Okay, okay, okay. 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 There you go. Speaking of your coach, happy, happy, happy. We got Coach Tai Mundele, Sir Tony Liao, and Coach Gadi enjoying the game. Maybe talking about what's going on in the volleyball scene now, Jimmy. Maybe we need a mic on them also. Let's get them mic'd up. Ooh, regalo. Lindoria. Sinamantala na ang free ball. They're up now. Four points here in set number two. I mean, you gotta take advantage oh, of that for overpass. Sure, for sure. Yun din eh, during their timeout, talking about the signal timeout, they're saying, Jov was saying, oh, happy, happy lang din. So it's really that, you know, connection, that yes. spirit inside the court that helps. Oh, wow. Outside. Faith Nisperos trying her version of that power tip that she sees from her Ate Gretsch, but this time sails out. A little too strong by Faith Nisperos. Balik sa lima ang kalamangan ng ating HD Spikers. Doria with that serve. Better pass from Sultan is saw you with front that right side. They say it's out. They're asking for a check ball. Pero yun nga lang, wala tayong challenge for uh, a check ball on the floor defenders. Yes. So outside. Let it go. Yes. It's outside. Point para sa Signal HG Spikers. Doria still serving here. 23, serving 17. Better pass there from Pineda. Chooses Sharma, but got rejected. Maraginot once again to Soltones. Back row this time. Ooh, kanino yon? Papaluin na sana ni Kayuna. Miss Peros this time. Ooh, what Ooh a wow, what a dig by Molina. Ball still alive. Gandler. Oh, why okay, pumito? Pumito? I mean, what an attack yep. by Vanny Gandler. And Fifi Sharma thought that Jelka, you know, was going to set Ria Menezes. <laughs> Look at that sequence, right. everybody just trying to get a touch on that ball. But good fake there by Riri yep. Menezes. I mean, yun din naman yung mga rol ng ating middle blockers. Yep. To get, yes, to get blockers from the opponent's side. Maraginot sets up Soyun. Uh, touch, yep. Saw that touch. Touch and the point for Edis Soyud and the rest of the Chargers here. Saving a set point. Akari ended that five and zero run. Yes. Yep. Let's see how much more they can extend this set to. Better pass from Molina. Kayuna sets up Gandler, goes for cross court. Good check on the side of Chargers. Maraginot goes back set. But a good check there from signal blockers. Kayuna! 
but rejected. Jog goes for the back row, Molina. Ooh. But there was challenge. a challenge. I think. Oh, gusto nila malaman kung nag-over ba ang bola. That sequence from the Jelka Yuna hit. Ayan na nga. Yun din yung gusto natin makita dito sa PBL. Yung mga setters natin yes. na nagiging spikers. Who love attacking. Yesterday, it was Mars Alba. Today, it will be, or the last game day, it was Mars Alba. This time, offensive setter in Jel Cayuna. So, the coaches of the Chargers asking for that block touch challenge. Tingnan natin. Usually, Jamie, ano yung mga napag-uusapan ba ng mga team pag ganyan, nag-aabang ng challenge? Like this. What do you, what do you see in them? Honestly, when I see them, they're always laughing. They're always laughing. I mean, when it comes to... me check, wala, ganun. It's all about the acting. Meron. Yes, there is a block touch. A deflection, yep. a change of angle as well. So, you gotta give credit to Jel Cayuna. Yeah. Pumapalo din naman right. talaga siya. So there was a, this is a replay. Uh, okay, no. That ends the set. Yep. Set number two. This time in favor of the Signal HD Spiker. So we have uh, one set of piece here in this match. Danny Gandler with that beautiful back row attack. She is constantly giving that signal the confidence yet again with that back row attack on zone five. I mean, she's the one that's been very consistent, I would say, for signal. And of course, Dawn with the beautiful digs as well. Definitely. And I have 25 21, kayin ng set number one. Set number two na naman this time, 25 18. Signal HD Spikers. Don't go away because we'll be back for set number three. It's been a thrilling match against the Signal HD Spikers and the Akari Chargers with set 1, 21, 25, and the second set 25, 18. I mean, this game has been very intense. It's 
hard to gauge who will actually win this match, but in the second set, Akari prevailed with flying colors. Smooth sailing in terms of Michelle Coxie with her distribution, her ball distribution with her spikers with Eli Soyud, Gretchen Soltones, Faith Nesperos. Now on the side of Signal, they also are doing a great job, but like I said, Akari was able to get those breaks in their game. Definitely. And one thing I've also noticed, you mentioned that after the first set, Signal this time around in set number two, they were giving more to the middle blockers. Yep. They've become a little bit less predictable than set number one. And if we said that they were kind of coasting, Kanina, set number one, ngayon talaga ang uh, umarangkada, umariba itong uh, Signal right. HD Spikers. Look at the score here, Jamie. I mean, take a look at the attacks. 18 on the side of Signal and only 12 on the side of Akari, mm. which goes to show that the offense of Akari is not turning into or translating into points. Blocks one on the side of Akari, no aces in that set, and I mean, in terms of errors, it's almost the same gap here with seven and five, but Akari prevailing, oh, signal rather, uh, uh, prevailing in terms of attacks. Definitely, and uh, right before we ended set number two, we kind of focused on uh, Vanny Gander having right. being that uh, spiker of the set yes. in a sense. And you know, I was just sakto kasi iniisip ko pa lang no na, wow, parang sarap maging Vanny Gander. All she ever yeah. thinks about this time around is to hit. It's a tough Having, uh, having Joe Gonzaga inside, she became the other passer. Yes. So talagang iniintindi na lang nitong ni Vanny. I mean, it's less stress for yes. Vanny, of course. I mean, you have Don, you have the vets here in the back helping you stabilize that first ball. And it's, like you said, it is a luxury mm. of having them yes. with you. Back row, Gretchen Sultones, but Katindig was there. Kayuna pushes it to Vanny. Yeah. Yep. Yes. I mean, Don with that beautiful dig, perfect dig, I would say. Jelka Yuna feeding and generating beautiful offensive plays here. I mean, Vanny Gandler going for that tip early on. Normally, she yeah. would go yeah. down the line, cross, but I mean, really switching off her offense. Having variation in her attacks has been the assignment yes. for Vanny Gander. Last year was her first year in the pros. So talaga ngayon, makikita na natin yung growth niya as a professional athlete. But free ball here for the Signal Ishii Spikers. Back quick. Ooh, but Lady Beast was there. Nisperos with that power hit. Kayuna chooses Gonzaga. But once again, Sultanis was there. Cobb chooses Soyed on the left side. Katin Degos there. Ball still alive. Kayuna runs it down. Free ball para sa Chargers. Cobb. Chooses Soyu this time, rejected. And the point para kay Riri Meneses. Cool na cool lang. Very Riri. chill. Yeah, very <laughs> chill, Riri Meneses. Just doing her job at the net. And this is the first time that Michelle Cobb went in for that combination play. Mm, you're right. With you're that right. beat thrust there in that rally. I mean, Riri being that vet blocker was able to read that right away. Definitely. Kilangan mo rin kasing sumugal. You know, yes. you gotta let it be a little bit risky yes. here or not, especially in the professional level. Says Molina with a tip there. Cobb to Soyu this time rejected. Once again, Pineda chooses Faith this time rejected. Again, Cobb. Soyu with a tip this time. Chance for the HD Spikers to score, but Block was there. Wow. But the defense has been on point for these two teams. Sultones, but easy pick up there by Katindig. Ooh, what a fast set there. Kayuna, this time, Meneses. Buhay pa rin ang bola. Molina, back row, easy pick up there for Cobb. Nisperos, masyadong madali para kay Kayuna. Gonzaga will try this time. Gets a check, but Nisperos was there to defend the ball just at the net. Hindi pa rin titigil ang rally dito. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Sheesh. Oh my, I mean, the set also by Gretchen Sultanas was a little too tight too yes. for Faith and Spares, but she gently just touched the hands of Vanny Gandler. Right, I mean, 
You know, I need a putting spike received. Yes. You kind of have to be a little bit more creative on your hits here at the pros as well. You know, you have you can use the blocker's hands, you can use a variation of the speed and the yes. power. Kayuna to Gandler. Yes. Textbook hit there from Gandler. Oh, Sam has another report here, Sam. D and Jamie, speaking of creative hits, Vani Gander told me that she wants to be a smarter player this conference. Vani said she has to be more patient in learning the veteran moves so she can level up her game further since their core is pretty much intact. Vani also told me that she focused on getting in shape and recovery. Now, speaking of vets, Vani says the addition of Don Makandili Katindig is an asset on the court since she points out a lot of things on defense. Jamie and Z, what do you think is the effect of having you know, vocal teammates and vets on the team. By the way, catch this and more in the Filipinas Live app for 149 pesos a month. Back to you. I don't know about Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sam, for that wonderful question. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we have been uh, uh, thinking about that kanina pa na parang itong dalawang teams na to signal mula nung nawala si Rachel Bakis, Akari, a young team. They both needed right. that ate role player in their team. Yeah, I mean, with Signal, we have Don, you have Gretchen on the side of a car. These are the the tools that's needed, the ingredients of making a good team. And by the looks of it, they're doing such a great job. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Once again, just to put everything in context, this is the first game first for game these pala. two teams. And this is the first game where they have a new lineup. Right, right. For those who are not so much into following the story of the volleyball teams, usually the contract ends December. So January, December, January, that's when the movements happen. Yes. So if you think about it, yung iba, maybe tail end of December, nakapagsimula na mag with the new teams, the others January. They have yet to so short they have less than two months a little less than two yeah. months to practice I mean, with their respective teams but two months old pa lang to, basically right i mean you would think that it would be difficult and it is difficult it but is one thing that both teams do need it's not even skill it's just the chemistry oh yes it's for because sure. like you said you have such limited time i mean right after the holidays that's when you start training with your team and chemistry and that's why a lot of teams are successful yes definitely Ooh, oh says molina this time yeah. trying to get that core cross court hit but so far back to back cross court hit went wide Little overcooked in that yep. rally, trying yep. to avoid the hands mm. of Fifi Sharma. Let's go, and we haven't even seen Seth Domingo yet, and a car yes. is already playing like this. Yes. So very exciting times for all the PBL oh. teams that we have yet to see and witness here. Back to roll. Hot hands here for Bani Gander. I mean, Bani Gander targeting the veteran libero yes. in Bank Veneta. And so many angles no, that we've seen so far from right. Vani. And, uh, you know, coming from uh, Sam's report earlier, where she said, you know, Vani is taking up the challenge to have more variety in her spikes. Yes. I mean, this First is. First game, lang. Yep. I mean, this is what she knows she needs to work on. And that just goes to show how coachable she is as well. Definitely. I mean, out of all the interviews that uh, we've had with Vani, she would always just say, you know, it's for the growth. I'm excited. New team, new challenges, new teammates. Kati meet pa niya yung idol niya. She says, Molina. Says Molina. <laughs> how luck of oh, all. Oh, wow. <laughs> Perfect na manon. <laughs> Back row is Peros here. Ooh. But Gonzaga was there. Kayuna chooses Molina. A little bit too low, but no problem. The MVP can do it all. Yeah. Z, you did say that the setup Kayuna was actually a little too low and off the net as well. But those are some MVP things as we head on to a technical timeout.
Filipino. Catch the 2024 PBL All Filipino Conference every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on One Sports, One Sports Plus, RPTV, and Filipinas Live. PBL, the heart of volleyball. You are watching third set, and so far we got statistics here, Jamie. Well, on the side of Signal, eight points by Gloria, 13 from Gandler, 12 wow. from Molina. Wow. Already in double digits. Yes. And for the Kari Chargers, six for Faith and eight by Sotonis. You, so you see a uh, disperse of offense, not just one player having around 20 points, right? You got to spread it out. Definitely, right. no one player has the monopoly of attack points on right. the side of HD Spikers. You know, as you said, well distributed on sets uh, since well since the second set for on the side of Signal HD Spikers. But we saw a substitution on the side of the Akari Chargers. Trisha Genesis yes. subbing in for Faith Nesperos. I mean, you know, again, context is this is a new team, a two-month-old team, and. Uh, I guess Coach Rafi has yet to find the perfect mix, the perfect yes. balance of players for this conference. I mean, especially with it being your first game, it's also trial and error, yes. right? So of course. you got to mix and match. And maybe with Genesis, it'll work in this set and have Faith go back again. It all just depends on the, the vibe right. of the game. I mean, Jamie, could you share with us, ano ba yung mga dahilan? Bakit nagsasub out minsan yung mga coaches? Hindi lang sa, you know, dahil pangit, pangit na yung pinapakita ng player. Like, what are the other reasons for substitutions? So there's two reasons. One is because maybe the player's too tired, right? Okay, okay. The yeah, second yeah. is for the player to see the outside perspective. Sometimes okay. when you're on the court, you don't really know what's happening. You're thinking of too many things. All right. So when you're on the outside, you can actually see what's happening on the inside. So all about perspective. Gotcha. So we'll see if Faith sees a little bit of a new hey. perspective there. And you know what? Yun yung mga miscue na yes. sinasabi natin na kailangan pa magkaamuyan ang mga bagong teammates na to. <laughs> yep, this is where the familiarity comes, a rare error between Katindig and Kayuna. Kayuna. I mean, you'd rather have that, like yes. I said earlier, than no one getting the ball. Definitely. And yun nga, kasi these two ladies, Katindig and Kayuna, they have that character na leader na you know taking uh, initiative that's why you see those errors na yes ako na ako na magsiset so <laughs> it's really gonna be down to what you said the the chemistry yep free ball easy dig there by katindig Ooh. oh but medyo iwas na iwas yes uh, that ball coming from doria but uh, they can still afford uh, a couple of mistakes here as they still have a two-point lead here in set number three. Miss Q there by best setter Kayuna and Doria. Sharma, four points, three attacks and one block so far here in this match. Kayuna goes to Doria para makabawi at yep. nakabawi nga. It's a beautiful eight quick attack. I think that's her first clean eight quick attack we've seen in this match. All right, this spike of the set, yun, you, what you saw from Gloria, is brought to you by, by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. We're still waiting on our bucket, huh? Yeah, <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> I think okay. they're still tuned into the game. Yes. They don't want to. Okay, yeah. okay. Running. Ooh. I believe that is her fourth successful running attack here in this entire match. There you go. Running by Riri. Catching Ellie off guard. Coach Rafi getting a little bit more yeah. vocal mm. on the sidelines here. Not too happy. Mm. Genesis. It doesn't go over. Point. Once again, para sa Signal HD Spikers, who is 
They're leading now by five points, Jamie. I mean, on the side of Signal, uh, we have Faith and Sparrows on your screen. She's back on the court. With Signal, they are not making too many errors. Yes, and Akari yes. is making too many unforced errors that can be controlled. Definitely. Running this time by Madrigal. Ooh, Ooh what a What dig. a back up there by Cesc Molina. Oh, wow. Super diggers here in this match. The other one uh, by Bam Pineda who was able to help Michelle Cobb or Madrigal to set up Faith Esperos and get that point. Middles love setting and taking that second ball. I've seen it many Back times. Setting. Most my especially. I always see that. <laughs> You know, guys, a volleyball, ang middle blocker, lagi yang feeling setter. Yeah, feeling setter, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Tip there, but Cobb read that one. Pineda goes back row for Soltones. Ooh. Touch. Gets a, a touch, touch. Yeah. from uh, Katindig. as well, using whatever part of her body <laughs> to put that ball over. But going back here, Soyud, two wide, libre puntos muli para sa ating HD Spikers, leading by five points here in set number three. And Z, Soyud did start over Mama D in the set. Ah, Mama so D's okay. could be resting as well, like right. what Faith was doing earlier. Ooh. Those are the unforced errors that we've been saying that can be controlled. Yeah, Jel Kayuna also, if I remember it correctly, sent the first serve out yes. as well. So, medyo nangangapapatong si Jel in terms of serve, uh, of, of her serves. Right. And usually, the setters are the more aggressive servers. Yes. And they're usually the first. At the first serve. server. Okay, you're right, you're right. In Why terms of that? rotation. Because when you... Oh! Vanny! Okay. Complete commercial. Courtesy of Vanny Ganders. Wonderful attack. Hit there. Are we getting a replay? No, maybe mamaya pagbalik natin after... Supportahan natin ang ating Gilas Pilipinas contra Chinese Taipei sa FIBA Asia Cup 2025 qualifiers this February 25. Bukas na po. Live at Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City. Buy your tickets now. Yan, ang daming nagaganap na events, sporting events right now. But yes. let's go back to this ball game. Bali Gander. Oh gosh. I was just asking you, Jamie, earlier during uh, the break now. Like, she really gets above her blockers. No, ibabaw. Yes, and it's all kudos to her SNC as well. She does a lot of extra work there you go. on the side. There you and go. that just goes to show her dedication. Yes. I mean, she's been like that since Ateneo. I have been teammates with her back in season 18. 
82. Mm -hmm. And just her growth is completely tremendous. Nice angle there. Cobb chooses this better from the back row. Katin big. Sitting down. Pa. Molina, cross court. Veneta was there. Cobb this time chooses Soltones. Check ball. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a smart play by Gretchen Soltones. It's not a clean attack, but a smart attack. Touching yep. the hand yep. of yep. Jovelin Gonzaga. Yeah. Jelka Yuna. All smiles. Yep. Despite the. Uh, Sliding on the floor. They still have an, a four point advantage here. Molina. Get checked. Ooh, boss it alive. Cobb pushes it to the zone one. Vanny was there. Running once again from Riri Meneses. Madrigal chooses to set this time. Easy over from Soyed Cayuna. Front set. K Molina. Paso lang. Medyo nagka. Litu Handol, Kayuna once again to Molina. Cross court. Thank you so much, Jamie, for saving uh, me. <laughs> there you go, sis. Medyo kilang stretch kote. Sunut sunut na bola yon na pinalu niya in that last sequence. Still five points up. Are your Signal HG Spikers here in set number three? I mean, too many long rallies. I mean, it's sobra, not a bad thing, sobra. but the volleyball, I mean, the level has definitely yeah. increased, improved. Sartones rejected. Ooh. Nobody ready for that yeah, yeah. return ball there. Kakari Charger smelling a little bit of a blood here in set number three. Napatawag ng time. Head coach, Coach Rafi Mosuela. Okay, kung nababla, cover it. Ready to drop ball. Okay, anong position na yun? Five. Five? Five? Five. One of the things that Coach Rafi mentioned was the coverage. Yes. I mean, so far now, in Signal HD Spikers have been blocking pretty well. And, you know, Para sa Akari, they just need to be there for the coverage. And they have to understand that Signal is a team that is known for their blocking. Mm -hmm. And it also shows that Cobb needs to switch up the offense as well. Aye, correct. So a little bit more predictable again. Yes. But it doesn't help that, you know, like this. Hindi masyado maganda yung first ball. Yes. I mean, Cobb is doing a great job in terms of distributing the ball, but also the digs are having that overpass. Yeah, I mean, yeah. especially she's, I think, back row as well. So she actually can't even Correct. chase it down yeah, exactly. if it's tight, no? Ooh. More errors. Are cr yeah, more errors on the side of yeah. the Chargers this time. And signal being able to sustain their momentum. Because yep. sometimes when you have that momentum, you can break it, but they're able to sustain. Like that go. one there, yeah. Great people are cheering, standing up. Because there's another lady in pink. Mm -hmm. Well, you're more familiar seeing in pink this yes. time. You got Celine Domingo on your screens. First time stepping inside the hard court as a, an Akari Chargers. Jamie, what are we expecting from this lady here? A block party, that's for sure. <laughs> and leadership as well. And leadership. Yep. So, Tones. A little too tight yeah. once again for that set, behind that set. Ten points. Na ang lamang. See a double substitution here. Mama D with Jaja Maraginot. Ay na nga sabi na, go be, one pass. Trying to bring up the mood, the energy here on their side of the court. 
Maraginot uses Sultones. Goes cross court, but rejected. Nobody once again for the coverage. Timeout. Muli ang inyong high chargers. Let's look at that one more time. Double block and again. That's no what you've been mentioning yeah. earlier. A little too predictable para sa chargers. Good to see the new addition in Gretchen Sultan is being vocal right. right as early as now. First game, new team, new season, new conference, but she needs the backup. Yeah, I mean, you would think Sultonis would be a little bit shy or timid because she's new, but she's been playing the game for years. Yes. And like we've been saying, Akari needs a leader. And Gretchel can be that leader. Yes. Cherry, uh, Cherry rather, um, signal. Oh, wow. What a coverage yeah. jump, Gonzaga. My gosh. Point is a point, and that has been as said Domingo's first point as an Akari Charger. Let's look at that one more time. See that replay. I think a net touch. Oh, a net touch. Net touch, rather. Good eye there on the first referee. Yep. Max Wanko yes. also suiting up. First time here at the pros. Good pass. So Torres. The gambler was there. Kayuna back sets it. Job Gonzaga, perfect set. What a dig there by Juanco. Desperos back row, but Riri was there playing good defense. Maraginot with the running. A little too low. Yep, a little too low for set Domingo. And this is what we were saying. The familiarity will slowly come into formation soon. Let's see that replay. Okay, well, that last point was actually the last point of the set already. That was uh, in favor of the Signal HD Spikers. And so far, Rosalyn Doria has been uh, huffing and puffing here in set number three. Tigers gaining a little bit more momentum yes. in this match so far, Jamie. I mean, in this third set, we saw a lot more production on the side of Ria Menezes and Doria, along with Vanny Gandler and Jovelin Gonzaga. That is because of the great connection between Don Makandili and Jel Kayuna. They have such a good relationship on the court, and you can see that they're constantly talking to each other. Now on the side of the Kari Chargers, Quite too many unforced errors, quite too many miscues in that third set. We need to find some leader mm -hmm. on that court from yes. a party. I mean, I was waiting for someone to step up, 
uh, at least being vo more vocal. But it's hard if you're down by as much as 11 right, points at right. some point. 23 to 12, I remember, was the score, and it ended 25 to 12. I mean, when you look at the attacks here on your screen, set three stats. Look at the, Even the blocks. The block six with signal and one from Akari. But also in terms of attacks, we did see this in the second set. A lot of the attacks of Akari are not being converted into points, and that's the right. difference between signal. And you've mentioned earlier, Akari has been a little bit too predictable. That's why they will always their spikers would always go up against two blockers yes. uh, most of the time in set number three. But now we see the fresh faces, said Domingo, here starting in set number four. Jelka Yuna still up to serve here. We have Jaja Maraginot running uh -huh. the offense. Okay. Manabat is also back, starting here for the Chargers. Kayuna sets Vani Gandler go goes cross court. Oh, nice set. So Tonis with the push, Katin Big was there. Kayuna back set, running para Heriri. Maraginot tip, but Kayuna was there. Easy read for her. Gonzaga cross court. Rejected. Oh, that's a great start for yes. the Akari Chargers with the blocks. Let's see that replay on Jovelin Gonzaga. There you go, block party for the first point para sa Akari Chargers, Dini. I mean, we have the insertion now of Seth Domingo and Jaja Maragino. So yeah. we have not seen that in this entire match. So let's see if this tandem will work. Jaja goes quick. Oh, one-handed dig there by Donna Katindig. The Chargers did not expect that ball yeah. to go over right away. Free ball over, but Vanny Gandler taking advantage at the net. Yeah, yeah. One all, set number four. You got Gander to serve. Pineda chooses Soltones to try again. Linesman says it goes in. It's a miscue between, miscommunication rather, between Gonzaga and Cayuna. That is also from a break ball. That's mm -hmm. not the easiest of attacks, not mm -hmm. the easiest of angles. Soltones. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Same react. <laughs> we see you. Chai Troncoso. First point of the match. Textbook play there. Goes cross court. Said Domingo was a little too yeah. late on that block. Right. Riri with that serve. Poor pass there. Jungle ball. Manabat pushes it over. Gonzaga. Kayuna sets up Troncoso once again. Gretchel tries to get that one. Esperos with that cross oh, what hit. A wow, what a dig by Vanny Gandler. But ball was out. The greed on the side of Bang Pineda yep. and the Chargers. Jovelin Gonzaga was trying to go for that tip on the other side. <laughs> Said Domingo, finals MVP in her new team with the Akari Chargers. Gonzaga goes cross court. Manabat was there for the dig, went over. Oh. But Chai Troncoso staying aggressive at the net. She's starting this fourth set here. Magical moments for Troncoso. Mm, nobody at the net to block that one. Taking advantage of that overball. Better pass from Soltones. Oh, nice set. Ooh, oh, oh, wow. Nice dig. <laughs> Better dig. <laughs> oh. And that means that it's A lot, the urgency, I would say, just even the reaction time yes, yes. is so you are fast. Right. Reaction time has been on point for the defenders. Oh, Signal HD spikers. Even we can't react fast enough to the rally. 
You got Mama B on the service line. Four serving three. Overpass. Good just there at the net. Option for Chai Troncoso. Got touch there. Jaja. Ooh, Open set. set. Ooh. That was a good set, but maybe a little too fast for I mean, Faith. I think Faith was trying to go for that touch shot or maybe avoid the hands of the blocker. But Jaja Maragino, that was a beautiful set, giving Faith no blocks. I know, I know. But I got hit the ball with that one. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I've heard it so many times from coaches. Sometimes, because the mga attackers, masyado nilang ginugulangan yep. yung palo when all they need to do is just hit it. Yep. I mean, if you're Faith Nesperos with that height, with that power behind your arm swing, so many things is, are, are possible. Right. I mean, if you have the intention of being maybe too fancy with your moves, mm -hmm, but sometimes mm -hmm. the simple movements will... There you go. There you go. ...work much better. I mean, it's the timing also. Yeah. There are times that, you know, textbook hit, okay. Yes. Sometimes all you need is a little variation also when you're right, being right. red. You, but you, I think the, the key is you just stick to your strong side. Yeah. I mean, like you said, timing. You just have to know when to do Switch that. Switch it up. Yeah. Yep, yep. Well, there you go. Speaking of textbook play, Din Din Santiago Manabat has been unstoppable on that right backside. She did have a little bit rest as well, Z, mm -hmm, in the mm -hmm, third mm -hmm. set. She didn't right. play. Oh, oh, wow. That was so fast. The back look attack by Doria. As we head over to Sam for her report. Been taking a lot of inspiration from her current teammates, said Domingo. Fifi told me that since they both have the same height, not too tall for a middle blocker, they both have to work on speed and technique. Fifi added that they are that she has been her idol since her college days, and now that they're together. And as I mentioned earlier, said only had one day of practice. We did see her for some moments of action here in this set, but said told me that she is still learning to adjust to the new system after. All, it's the first time in five years that she's in a new PVL team. Sabi nga sa akin, he said, still in pink, but in a different shade. Back to you, Jamie and Z. Again, we have to just be a little bit more patient with these yes. new new changes, I guess. With said in a new team, you know, you can't really just see her usual form right away, no. first game pa lang. And again, going back, the context is two month old teams. Ang ating nakikita ngayon sa PVL. Right. I mean, we can't expect instant results. Correct. Correct. From the newbies on the squad, like with Dawn on the side of Signal, Sid, and Gretchen. I mean, these things take time. Yes, definitely. And, you know, it goes, it applies also to the new teams that we have here in the PVL. The strong group athletics, the Capital One Spikers. Right, right. Good pass there from Gonzaga. Vanny on the right oh. side. That's what we were saying, the simple attack. Exactly. Right? Nothing too fancy, just avoiding the hands of the blockers as we head to a technical timeout. Supportahan ang Gilas Pilipinas contra Chinese Taipei. 
bukas sa FIBA Asia Cup 2025 qualifiers, February 25, live dito lang sa Phil Sports Arena in Basic City. Buy your tickets now. Kung today may volleyball bukas, may basketball. <laughs> A lot of events happening. Yes. You got Gander on your screens. Nice serve. Oh, wow. Love this new look on Vani. And I mean, Z, the serve, a good, a gauge of a good serve is right above the tape. Oh, yes. yes right? Yes. That's like kind of like the Japanese system, the okay, fast right okay. above. And I remember we would practice that in Ateneo. And okay. like Coach O would actually have a tape. There you and go. we would serve in between the tape and net. So those are the practices that we would have. Oh, wow. Good cover there. Manabat on the left side goes for a tip. Riri back sets to Chai Troncoso. But Pineda was there. Back row for the Chargers. Cayuna, quick set. Buhay pa rin ang bola si net ni Manabat y Soltones. Gonzaga was there. Cayuna. To Gandler gets a check ball from the back row and gets a point. Danny Gandler doing wonders for her squad. I mean, that wasn't the strongest of attacks, but she was smart and just touching the hands of said Domingo in that rally. You got Ces Molina subbing in for Gandler. If she hurt, I think cramps, I would say. I mean, how many points has she She's made so far? That. I mean, I Ooh, miscommunication there between 18 points from Vanny. Oh, 18 points. Hindi pa tapos ang game natin. May 18 points sa si Vanny. Correction, 19 pa 19 na. points. But uh, going back, there was a miscommunication there between uh, Bang Pineda and Trisha Genesis. Max Wanko this time. Subs in for uh, Bang Pineda. But Chai Troncoso taking advantage mm. of that free ball sequence. Given to the HD Spikers. Pagpalayuna ng papalayo ang uh, signal. Coach Shaq also clapping from the sidelines with all smiles. Pero to my mouth muna itong si Coach Rafi. Let's listen in. One other thing lang. Trabawin mo muna natin yung, yung receive. Di ba? Kuhanin muna natin, sino ba yung dapat kumuha doon? Ang target, nandun sa five. So, kuhanin natin. Wala muna tayong atake. Intindihin mo natin yung first ball. Okay? Ayaan mo yung discarding setter kung sino nga atake. Maliwanag. Coach Rafi is still finding the right move, the right yeah. tempo the right way to give his ladies the confidence they need to catch up in the set, Jamie. Yeah, and not only that, Z, the players as well, right? This is the first time that the players are playing in an actual game together. So this is where the familiarity, I keep saying, and the chemistry is going to slowly mm -hmm. grow. Mm -hmm. Free ball para sa signal. Chai Troncoso, once again, Genesis was there. Maraginot pushes it to Manabat. Gets rejected, but ball still alive. Don wants to set it, gives it to Molina. Said, setting it perfect, set too tight of a set. To Sultones, no net infraction so far. Puro just ang nakikita natin ngayon. Buhay pa rin ang bola, manapat, pushes it to Troncoso Cayuna, gives it back to Chai. Mariginot was there, Max sets up Santiago Manapat. But defense still on point for the HD Spiders. And finally, Riri Mignesis ending that rally. And we've been saying this, Z. Cayuna is setting the middle blockers mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. often. And that is actually fooling the blocking of Akari. We see a lot of check balls on the side of Akari, meaning the block is late. Yep, yep. And meron pang konting kanchao mula kay Riri kanina. After that point, Sultones powering through this time and getting the point. The Lady Beast. Ito na. Pati yung mga fans natin dito sa likod, ayan na daw si Lady Beast. <laughs> They're waiting for her serve. <laughs> Release the Kraken daw. <laughs> <laughs> but still a steep hill to climb here for the Akari Chargers. Ooh. 
Jokayuna. It's Jokayuna constantly feeding Ria Menezes all the balls. I mean, like, be quick at town. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's this distribution talaga. And also, when she's in the back row, she's also digging a lot. Rare sight as well. We saw that yeah, rare yeah. dive as well by Ria. Oh, nice set from Marigunot. Gonzaga running out of space there. But a uh, way to hustle and try to chase that ball down the court. As Manabat still fighting through here in set number four. Five points ang kailangan habulin ng inyong Akari Chargers with Seth Domingo to serve. Nice serve. Good coverage from Katindig, Chai Tronjoso, loving that outside position. I mean, Tronjoso successful in all her attacks here. And in that sequence, the set to Jobelin Gonzago is actually a little bit too tight. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Dawn is there to cover it right away. So there's always smooth sailing somehow in Definitely. all their sequences. Definitely. I think it's that also, you know, being able, as a libero, being able to read that kind of set. Kasi papa rebound lang ba? Pero yes. look at that dig, though. Oh gosh. Molina chasing it down. Makandili wants it. Getch gives it to Maraginot. Genesis with the play. Makandili katindig! With that touch. But not enough elevation. But she was there. This everywhere. I mean, the reaction time. <laughs> Is what we've been yes, saying. Yes, yes, yes. With Dawn. Mm, look at that. Take look, a at look, that. look at that. Pushing Speechless. off, trying to get a little bit of elevation there, touching the ball. A for effort. A plus 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 for effort. Many for, oh. <laughs> Another production here from the middle blockers, Doria. And with that hit, we head on to a technical timeout. Set number four, 16 to 10, with uh, Rosalind Doria on your screens and Jelka Yuna and Chai Troncoso, who has been right. uh, really effective and efficient here so far in this match. Shooting up to serve. There you go. Six points, four attack, one block, one ace. Wow. She's I mean, everywhere. <laughs> and she's only been in. Ooh. Uh, we just <laughs> jinx, <laughs> jinx. Sorry, bawi kami. <laughs> Sorry, but. I mean, with Troncosa, she's only been in this set. She wasn't mm. subbed in the first three sets, but that just goes to show how deep yeah. the yeah. bench is for Signal. And it's not just that. For Coach Shaq to have a hand of, like, you know, sige, mm. gamitin natin yung second stringers. Yeah. Usually, you know, you see teams sticking with their six, but now, you know, I feel like with the changes of the PVL having teams having more than 14 players in their roster, they really have the ability to switch it up every game, switch it up um, the, their second stringers, and, you know, really utilize the bench. Right, I mean, the coaches have to understand that uh, 
the other teams are always studying you, yes, right? Yes, of course, so, definitely. I mean, it could be that Akari didn't expect Troncosa to play this match, yeah, but yep, yep, yep. she's killing it in this fourth set. Earlier, we saw Chin Basa starting this game and uh, being uh, more present in set number one, but eventually, you know, Job Gonzaga suited up, took up the challenge to lead the HD Spikers here who are up by five points. But uh, first off, Fifi Sharma to set us up for this rally. Running once again for Riri, rejected mm. this time. Good read there by Gretchen Soltones. And I would see both of them, they would always have yes. a stare down. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Riri not happy with that. <laughs> Solo block by Gretchen Soltones. But I mean, the difference that I see with Signal is a lot of production uh -huh, from the middle uh -huh, blockers. Uh -huh. That's the difference. Definitely. Ooh, wow, wow. What about the Saturday? I mean, <laughs> Jelka, you know, we know that she's known for her one-two plays, but just timing it perfectly, yeah. I mean, they were standing in that yeah, sequence. Yeah, yeah. Even uh, said Domingo was already about to swing block to the right. But again, it's the timing of these things, yep. you know. Good pass there. Running for there Sed. Go. There you go. Sed Domingo, welcome to the Charger fam. <laughs> and she did say that she's wearing a different shade of pink. Um, Sed Domingo telling Jaja Maragino, nice set, because they've had a few instances with that running attack and it was yep. not yep. Yeah. successful. I remember in that last. Uh, set in the tail end of set number three. Ooh, nice. Oh, 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 oh. Good intention. Mama D is just too strong. Yes. I mean, nakita kasi natin yun yung set number one where she put the ball over on two and got oh, the point, yeah. but this time a little too strong behind that ball. Five points pa rin ang kalamangan. Nang signal is she spikers this time. Set Domingo with the push. Gonzaga easy over there. Maraginot this is the back row to Genesis. Think Check there's a touch ball. there. Yep. Puntos para sa Akari. See the Akari Charger slowly trailing behind. I mean the disparity is not that far. It's, Kaya? Yes. Nothing is impossible below ang bola and you know, malayu layu pa tayo sa 25 and uh, usually the players would say hindi natatapos ang set sa 19 in yeah. this sense. Definitely. But John Gonzaga saying, wait lang, let me get more points for my team. Let me rack up the stats here. Yes. Uh, lack of press on the blocking of Genesis in that rally. How hard is it to block a lefty, Jamie? I mean, being the lefty that Jovel and Gonzaga is, they have a lot of tricks up their sleeve. They can go down the line, cross court. And I mean, it is very difficult to block a lefty. So you really have to have that press, that blocking for perfect blocking formation. We got Vanny Gander on their screens. Jamie said that it seems like a cramp. But hopefully nothing too serious because right. it's yep. the first game. And we were saying that longevity talaga ang labanan dito. But uh, said Domingo with a rare service error here. Napatawag ng timeout si Coach Rafi. Let's listen in. Good point there. Na hindi talaga kaya ng labanan ng isahan. You know, if Signal's gonna make a point, Akari needs needs to make two to three points right. back to back to catch up here in the set. And I mean, your points have to be earned. You can't always expect your opponent to make errors. And give you free points. Yes. 
Ooh, nice. Oh, Ooh, what, what a nice action, cover though. also. Says Molina, back row. Maraginot was there. Manabat will set Gretchel in the back row. Good check there from Doria. Molina, uh, Cayuna chooses Troncoso that time, but ball still alive. Genesis, easy pick up there by Jonella. First time seeing action there, but Molina just too smart in that last sequence. Right. Jenny. Going for that back row attack, but I love when players change last minute of going for that tip in zone four. I mean, Max was expecting a powerful attack. Yeah, yep. I mean, because that would always be the go-to yes. attack variation of Cesc Molina. Good push there. Molina was there. Prepared. Doria. Well, too low. Maraginot was there. Manaba. Yes. And Mama D making a way in this set. I haven't seen a lot of attempts from Manaba actually yeah, in this set. Yeah. We have the original first six now on with Soyud and Cobb. Team captain uh, Michelle Cobb or Cobby for her closer friends. Oh wow! Oh wow! It's really the reaction also, you know, like the anticipation and the reaction has been the game changer also. I mean, Jelka Yuna knowing when to do that. Look at that. I Look at mean, that quick. Right, right, right. Look at the wrist by Jelka Yuna getting her own points here in this match. Chai Tromposo with that serve and ace. And we say goodbye to that ball and uh, get ready for this set point. Chai Tronkoso will try to redo of that ace. Let's see. But sails out. Ni chance pa itong Akari Chargers. Now what I see, what I noticed with Akari compared to the first set, they were smiling more. Of course, they're down yes, right now, but yes, they need yes, to yes. somehow maintain. Oh, wow! Doria making sure Look at that one more time. Jamie. Beautiful. In front. Wow. Of the 10 foot line. Wow. I mean. Wow. Pa explain pa na nagagawa yun na sobrang tuldo at sobrang ibabaw. I mean. <laughs> Compare the chemistry with Signal. It's there. Yeah. It's yeah. there. It's there. I mean, Again. you have Dawn, but it's an easy transition. Yeah. Definitely. For the HG Spikers. Yeah. More than the Akari Chargers. Well, that's it, folks. That has been a four-setter match for uh, Signal versus Akari in uh, your second game of the double.
Chargers, 21 25, 25 18, 25 12. And once again, 25 18. Jamie, what a game! First game for both teams. But Sam Corrales has our player of the game beside there, Sam. Have Riri Meneses of the Signal HD Spikers. Una una, congratulations sa panalo. So Riri, kwenta niyo naman sa amin. Ani yung managing susi sa panalo ninyo against Akari today. Napakadikit ng laban. Um, siguro yung naging susi namin sa game ngayon um, yung communication ng players at ng coaches. Kasi naging malaking factor talaga siya sa amin. Eh. As in, sa communication, magsastart talaga yung galaw ng bawat isa. Eh. First game pa lang of the conference, so let's use this time to um, tell us more about the goal of the Signal HD Spikers ngayong conference, really. Well, ang goal naman talaga namin is makapasok sa top four. So, tatrabahuhin muna namin kasi medyo mahaba-haba yung elimination. So, one game at a time. And of course, really, meron ka bang gustong pasalamatan or batiin ngayon? Um, Siyempre, yung family ko, sila mama, sila papa, sila Nikki, uh, yung family ko sa Canada, and yung Meneses and Morelos family, and yung family ni Sos Molina. May time pa tayo, Riri. So I want to ask you, syempre lagi nating sinasabi na team effort ang bawat panalo. Intact pa rin ang core ng Signal HG Spikers, but you have Job Fernandez and Don Makandili Katindig. Ano yung naging effect na nila sa dynamics ng team, whether sa training or dito sa game? Siguro naging malaking factor din yung pagdagdag nila sa amin eh. Kasi nakita ko nung pagdating nila, parang alam yung wala naman na bagong kailangan mag-adjust. Yung parang... Normal lang sila na nagdagdag sa amin kasi asin sobrang smooth lang ng transition nila sa amin. And that's good to hear. All the best this conference and congratulations on today's win. Back to you, Jamie and Z. What did you see in Riri's game today, James? I mean, a lot of urgency, mm. more confidence, and like what Ria said, having the two new players, it's not a transition. It is just uh, addition, I right. would say. As we see the match stats on your screens here, you see the disparity in attacks. Oh, yes. 64 on the side of Signal and 42 in Akari. 11 blocks with Signal and 7 from Akari. So it's... Uh, back to the drawing board for the party Chargers. All right, well, ayun na nga. Hindi na tayo magkarinigan, Jamie, because don't go anywhere, folks. Meron pa tayong third game ngayong Sabado. Up next, we got Creamline Cool Smashers there on your screens who will go up against the Farm Fresh Foxies in just a bit. Thank you for joining us. This has been Jamie Lavitoya San Corrales and uh, Z Hervasho. Thank you so much. We'll be back and see you soon.